every once in a while, I like to go back to my roots. This community, the peer-to-peer -peer narcissistic abuse community, saved my life. Now, some of you old-timers who've been around for a while may know exactly what I'm speaking about. But I mean that literally. So every once in a while, I like to come back to my roots, as I said, and let you know that you helped save my life. And I want you to know this, that while going through all of that pain, all of that suffering, all of these feelings of not being loved, coming to those realizations, coming to the realization that I was in fact abused, that it wasn't me doing all these things, coming to that realization that I wasn't crazy, coming to the realization that I had to get away or else I was going to suffer, I was going to fall deeper into a hole, people around me were going to be made to suffer, people around me were going to be told lies, and that was going to drag me down further and further and further. I knew I had to get away. I knew by listening, watching this wonderful technology we have, YouTube, the medium that gave us the gift to communicate just as we are now. I knew by watching you that I had to get away to save my life. And that's what I did. So number one, thank you for that. Thank you to YouTube. Thank you for everyone who's gotten up and made a video. I know it wasn't easy. I know a lot of us can't. I know a lot of you can't. But going back to my roots, I want to let each one of you who may be going through this now, to know this. Quick story. I may have told it before, excuse me. While going through these phases of going to no contact, my therapist would constantly try to say, Tom, there is always hope. Always. And every time he said that, I did not believe him. I could not see any way that there was hope. All I could see is that I made this dramatic mistake by reconnecting again. And then subconsciously and soon consciously, I started to feel like I was not worth it, that I was unlovable, that I was a bad person, that everything I did in my childhood led me up to right now where I am before. It led me to my sickness. I deserved all of it. He kept on saying there is hope. And he was trying to trying to jam positive affirmations down my throat. He saw something that I could not see. He saw that I was a nice, kind, lovable person. No way in the world could I see it. At no angle, at no time of day. I could not see it. You may be right now identifying with something like that. Now I'm on the other side of this thing, and I'm staying here. And what I'm going to do is tell you, while my therapist kept on saying there was always, always hope, and I couldn't see it, one day I did see it. One day I saw a little tiny bit of that hope. And then following that, I'm not sure how long, I saw a little more hope. And then a little bit more. Then the community, the narcissistic abuse community, the peer-to-peer, -peer, the people like you who were saying, me too, they showed me hope. They showed me it's possible to live, to be loved, to be liked. This community showed me that. And guess what? I don't give those negative thoughts about myself a second thought. I know where they come from. I'm conscious of it. Those tapes 
once in a while pop up. They're always going to pop up every once in a while. But what's going to happen is you're going to start identifying them for what they are. You are start while you're in the shower and that tape of low self-esteem pops up. You're going to be saying, hey, that's a tape. And it's bullshit. I've got people in my life who both like me and love me. I spent one of the most magnificent days with my goddaughter just this past Sunday and her family, my best buddy. And the love that I was given was remarkable. It's every little instance like that. It's every little day that we put together that makes us whole after we go no contact, after we realize what happened to us. I'm here to tell you it's going to happen. You may not see it right now. You may be at the stage where you cannot believe it's possible. You may be thinking you are not worth it, but you are. It's going to happen. You may not see a way out of this yet, but there is always hope. And if you're shaking your head and you can't see it, I was right there with you then too. There was no way I could believe it was hope. And what that was, was my abuser constantly telling me I was a sick little bastard. I was no good. I would never amount to everything. That was that constant compounding, compounding of abuse. It was so deep and so thick and so ingrained in me, I couldn't see it. But I could see what it is now. And I just want to reach out and tell you, no matter how much despair you feel, no matter how much low self-esteem you may be experiencing, there is hope. And all of those feelings that you have of low self-esteem, of self-harm, That's your abuse talking. And you are going to get through that. And you are going to see just as I see now. Second by second. Minute by minute. Hour by hour. Day by day. And year by year. You are going to gain this immense, incredible, strong, mental health that you are going to love. You are going to learn how to love yourself as you always deserve to be loved. Other people are going to love you unconditionally. And you are going to feel that happiness and joy again that you deserve. I am telling you, I have been on the other side of abuse. Abuses that would today make headlines across the world. And I'm on the other side. And I can look back and I can tell you, you'll be joining me soon. Even though you can't see it now. And here's another thing I know. It's because of you every day that I'm able to stay here. I had a rough time on my body over the last few months over the last few decades, actually, but over the last few months, particularly tough. And I read the comments every day on all the videos that I've done. And that's my maintenance. That's how I know I'm liked. That's how I know I'm loved. That's how I know I'm not alone. Thank you for that. Going forward, have this peace in the knowledge that there is always hope, and that's not just a slogan. It's really there. I 
love you guys. Thank you for the gift you've given me.